Hi everyone, hope you're okay, hope you're having a good week. So today I'm going to go back to some swiping, but I'm going to do it on a large canvas. I'm using a 40 by 20 inch canvas. I've got my colour palette here. I'm going to put all those colours in the description. But first of all, I'm going to sort my base out. Now, this is a King's Blue by Amsterdam. And I always say, if you can get good coverage and consistency on your base coat, when you go to swipe, it's going to make things really easy. So I'm just going to layer the base now and then I'll talk you through the process. So I've got some good coverage, but I do have some puddles of paint in various areas. So as you can see, I'm tilting the canvas up so all the paint, all the excess paint can run off the side of the canvas and onto my table. But don't worry, I do scoop that paint up and I use it as a flow extender in other pieces. So there's a, a lot less wastage than what you see. So by doing that, I can ensure that I've got good coverage and a consistent layer of paint across the canvas. So I'm going to take my colour palette and I've taken my Prussian blue first and what I'm doing is I'm going to just drop a couple of lines onto the canvas so I can use it as a bit of a guide to layer my other colours directly on top. The idea is to have really solid colour in the middle and then I'm going to swipe each side. So the Prussian blue is down and I'm going to take one colour at a time and literally layer all on the top. I've got a gold, I've got a yellow gold, I've got an iridescent blue green, and I've also got an ultramarine blue. So all of those colors, they're gonna be listed in the description box below. So check out the description box if you'd like to know more about the color palette and my ratios. So I'm gonna layer this one at a time. I've sped up the video so you don't get bored, and then we're gonna continue with the process. I'm using my blowtorch just to get rid of any air bubbles. So because I've mixed my paints up recently, there are some air bubbles within that mixture and that torch just gets rid of those. So you can see now that I'm layering a line of white paint on the edge of all those colors that I've already layered. That white paint is Titanium White by Amsterdam and you've guessed it, it's mixed with Australian Floetrol, one part paint to three parts Australian Floetrol. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my toilet paper, I'm going to rest it on top of the white paint, and I'm going to swipe through all those colours that I've layered, just really slowly, one piece of paper at a time, and one section at a time. And I'm going to repeat that process all the way down that line that you can see that I've already layered. So what I would say is when you're using your swipe tool, whether that's toilet paper, tissue, a palette knife, allow that piece of paper or palette knife or tissue to just stand on top of the paint that you've layered. Don't press down too firmly. Allow it to almost sit on top of that paint and then drag that piece of paper or palette knife in one direction. Allow it to make contact with the paint and allow it to glide across the surface of that canvas. And you've got a good surface already prepared because remember, right at the beginning, we layered the paint, we ensured that there was no puddles of paint on that canvas, so it's a very smooth layer. And that's what's gonna really help you with the glide of the swiping that you do all the way down this line of colour.
You can already see this design taking shape where the white paint that's mixed with the Australian Floetrol is creating so many different details with the lacing. And I'm just going to go all the way down this line and follow that process by adding the paper to the paint, swiping it over the top of the colours that are already layered, removing the paper when I get to the edge and repeating that process all the way down. But please don't rush this process. Really enjoy being in the moment of now. Have a look at how that paint is reacting with each other. Have a look at how it infuses together and just watch those cells and that lacing create and look at the patterns that it also creates too. I have sped this part of the video up, not because I think you're gonna get really bored by watching this process, but it just gives you an idea of what we do all the way down that line and don't be fooled by the, the the length of the videos that i release one thing that i would like to say and i get this asked all the time is sometimes the videos are only 10 to 15 minutes long and is that the time that it takes me to create a piece no way there's so much more time there's so much more planning into a piece from thinking about the design that you're going to do the size of the canvas that you're going to work with the combination of the colours and the colour palette that you're going to bring together to infuse into a creation, mixing up your paints and it goes on and on and on. But these videos just want to give you a good snapshot of how you can create something similar and how you can adapt your techniques and all the elements to fluid art into creating your own pieces. So that's just a little bit of information I wanted to share because I know people ask me all the time about how long that process is and what is included within that process. So as you can see here, I've reduced the width of my tissue paper, my, my toilet paper, and I'm just going along those lines and almost creating different sections. That's going to help me create some depth and some movement along that line that we've already swiped. So I'm going to repeat the process for exactly the same side. So this is quite a symmetrical piece. I'm layering the white paint along the edge of the line that we've already layered with the colours. That paint is mixed with Australian Floetrol. And then I'm going to take my toilet paper and swipe the white paint over the coloured paint that I've already layered. And I'm going to follow that line all the way down. This is a large canvas, this is a 40 inch by 20 inch canvas. So I'm just taking my time, the temperature and the working conditions that I'm in are okay, the paint's not gonna dry really quickly. But if you are working in a really hot temperature, just be mindful that if you're working with a really large canvas and you're using some paints to do something like a swipe, then Think about the time of day you might want to paint or the temperature that you're actually working in because your paints might dry quite quickly and a film might appear on top and that will be even more difficult to work with those paints. So think about the conditions that you're in. I know we're based all, away, all the way around the world. There's, there's people from all different countries working with fluid art. So you'll know the time of the day that's best for you when you create your designs.
Okay, so I'm nearly done here. So I'm going to take you in for a close up of the wet version. I'm going to take you in so you can see some of those details. I'm really hoping some of that white paint also stays along that edge because I just think that makes it even more interesting. And you can see how those colors have infused together to create a really interesting color palette on top of our base coat. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll take you in for a look at the dry version. So here we are, the dry version. It's a bit of a gloomy day, so I've got to say, I don't think this shows the best version of this piece, but you can easily see some of the details. And I really love how all those colors have worked together, how I've used different width toilet paper and tissue to use the, as a swipe tool because it shows different elements along that line, different sections that we've been able to create. And some of that lacing is just really gorgeous because I can see how that gold is really popping through. I really love doing this. I do love the swipe technique. I think I'm going to do some more of these, but I've really enjoyed this color palette. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you're enjoying what you see. Let me know if there's something specific that you'd like me to experiment with. Is there a different technique that you'd like to see me do or attempt? And I really hope you have a great week ahead and I hope I get to see you again in the next video. Take care everyone and I hope to see you soon. Bye.